Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be creating legends. We can create a legend by selecting any of our markups, right-clicking on top of them, mousing over legend, and we can choose an existing legend or create a new legend. Before we do that, our goal for this tutorial is to create a legend similar to this cost analysis floor area legend. Instead, we're going to be creating a cost analysis for the wall area. We can select these length measurements that have depths associated with them. Let's select this one, hold shift to select this one as well, along with this one. Then we can right click on top of any of them, mouse over legend, and let's create a new legend. The legend appears on our cursor, so we can place it anywhere we'd like. Let's place it right around there. If the markups that are added to our legend have the same color and they're the same kind of markups, such as the length markups that I've added, then instead of being shown individually on the legend, they're going to be grouped as one markup and their quantities are going to be added together automatically. So I've made all of my length measurements different colors in order to show them individually on the legend. Now let's click on our legend and let's start modifying it by going into properties. And here, starting from the top, we can change the legend's author and subject, just like we can do for any markup. And our legend can be saved to our tool chest as well. For example, here's mine, saved to the tool chest. So let's continue down. We can change the legend's title and we can show the title if we want to. We can also change the title's font. Then we can go down to columns. This is very important. We can change what the description column actually means. So instead of referring to the subject, we can make it refer to something else. We can leave it at the subject for now. Let's click on edit columns. And now let's choose what kinds of columns we want to use on our legend. So the description, quantity, and unit are fine. Let's scroll down and let's look for our wall area. There it is. And we want to show what kind of material is being used. And I believe that should be good enough for now. So let's click on OK. Now we have our columns. We can also look at the legend to our right and match it. So it looks like instead of using the description, we're going to be using the label because we don't need to show the subject. We're using the subject as a way to quantify the wall area and to choose our material since the interior subject is being used as our material quantifier. So let's go back to edit columns. Let's turn off description and let's find label and let's turn that on. Label is right here. We'll click OK. And now we want to change the order of our columns. Let's go back to edit columns and let's make sure that label is in the right order. So we can select it, use these arrows to move it over here. So we have label, material, and then quantity, unit, and cost analysis. So label and then material and then unit is after the quantity. There we go. Now our legend columns are the same as this legend. Now let's change a few formatting options. While the legend is selected, we can look in properties and we can change the color of the table and the text color as well. So we'll leave our text color as black. We can change the color of the table to orange as well. And then the table style is quite useful. We can change it to grid lines, for example, which every single line that's possible is shown. And the outline just, of course, gives us a nice border on the outside of the legend. We can choose horizontal as well or vertical. And vertical is what I'm using on this table. All right. And if I was to change the font sizes and some of the other formatting options, then I could match this legend. What you can also do is, is you can click on an existing legend and use the Format Painter tool and click on this legend. And now all of the properties are the same and the font has been changed as well. So you don't have to manually change all of your settings. You can also reuse legends, of course, by putting them into your tool chest. And just to show you, you can put them in your tool chest by right clicking on top of them, mousing over add to tool chest, and you can choose any of your tool sets, just like any other markup. And now our second legend is complete. Let's finalize it by giving it a new title. So instead of just calling it legend, we'll call it cost analysis colon wall area and to finalize that we can deselect and reselect another option to make sure that that is solidified and now our legend is complete thank you very much for watching our tutorial on creating legends 
Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.